Among the holdings of the Page Farm and Home Museum are two collections of stencils and painted tinwares. One collection is from Ellen Jacobson Loring, who is a student, teacher, and a collector of early American de decorative art. Mrs. Loring studied under Evelyn Morrison in the 1950s and continued to pursue the art until the 1980s. The second collection came from the Farnsworth Museum and was donated by Emily Underhill. She began studying stenciling in 1945 under Esther Brazier, who re revitalized this art farm. Drawing inspiration from early tollware traditions, Mrs. Underhill, an award-winning artist, taught stenciling for nearly 30 years and was an active member of the Historical so Society of Early American Decoration. Tinware, produced in a variety of forms by tinsmiths and sold by Yankee peddlers, served both a util utilitarian and decorative function in the colonial home. Forms included candlesticks, sconces, tea caddies, lanterns, trays, bread baskets, boxes, pitchers, and tea and coffee pots. Many of these items were decorated by local artists who used distinctive color palettes and design motifs. In Maine, the center of tollware production was Stevens Plains, Maine, where the Stevens, Buckley, and North families produced the tinware and decorated it. Tollware painted timplate, timplate draws its inspiration from oriental lacquerwares, which were prized for their shiny black surface and design work. Like lacquerware, Tollwares were generally painted with a black asphaltum varnish, which imitated lacquer. Decorations were stenciled or painted onto a background paint layer using oil-based pigments in bright yellows, greens, blues, reds, and oranges. Multiple stencils were used to produce the designs, as stencilers used a different stencil for each color. The designs on tollware draw on a broader stenciling tradition in which furniture, walls, and floors were often decorated with stenciled designs. Similar motifs can be seen on hooked rugs, applique quilts, and jacquard loom work. Popular motifs implemented on tinware feature flowers, leaves, fruit, and domestic scenes. Common flower forms include roses, tulips, and morning glories. Fruit forms such as peaches, grapes, cherries, and strawberries abound on tollware pieces. Artists such as Ellen Loring and Emily Underhill documented these traditions and designs and collected stencils, preserving this tradition for future generations. Now, click on the link below to follow your next clue.